Okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, I did a complete review of the Kiwi uh, headgear, for lack of a better word, uh, the replacement headgear from the original. I gave it 9.8 out of 10 in terms of how it works and how nice it is and comfortable. Uh, watch that video link below if you haven't seen it. But today I'm gonna review, and I've made it a separate video, on two different things. One is uh, the replacement of the facial. Uh, so like yourself, probably anyone watching this, I'm not a technician in terms of this res respect. I'm not an expert on VR, but I know what makes it comfortable, what doesn't, and I do reviews on Android, home automation. I do the reviews, I do the research, so you don't have to, how's that? Okay, so this is fine. W working with this is brilliant, but I'm gonna now replace it. Kiwi has kindly sent me the replacement and I have an affiliate link below uh, in the notes, so it won't cost you any more, cost you in fact probably less, um, but definitely won't cost you any more, so please use the affiliate link. Uh, they're not paying me, they have no idea what I'm gonna say about this. If it is rubbish, I will let you know. If it's not worth it, I'll let you know. And if it doesn't add to the overall experience, I'll also let you know. So this is what's inside the box. Okay, wow, we've got a lot of stuff here. Uh, two of these, which are identical, a foam one here. Uh, this material, I forgot to mention, this is the same material uh, they use in expensive uh, headsets, stereo systems. Okay, and I'll go through what we have here, and we probably have the notes, and we have this. Okay, and what else? Instruction manual. So this should be pretty self-obvious what it does. Uh, this is for people that wear glasses, so it makes the uh, uh, lenses a bit further away, so it works with your glasses. It, so that's good, I don't need that one. Here we have, looking at all the research I've done, two identical, uh, like imitation leather, synthetic leather pads. Um, they tell you to keep these clean uh, without chemicals, so just wipe them over. In fact, these ones I believe you can even wash. I think, uh, in fact, that's why you've got two of them. You can wash these, I believe. I'll make notes, I'll update you in the comments below. I'll find that out for sure. And this one, which is the more comfortable one, but that will probably absorb the sweat. So you have the choice. Nice that they've given you that. This, I believe, just goes on like so to protect the lenses when it's not in use. Nice little touch. And this part, which is the main part, it has all these edges here. If you wore it by yourself, you'll do a lot of damage because it's quite, not sharp, but uh, these are ventilation holes. So this should really help if you're using it for exercise, in fact, for anything. It should help it breathe, make you sort of not get so hot. You can actually see the holes, the, if I can show you like that. And they're designed in a way to also stop the uh, lenses misting up. Okay, that comes out. Okay, so now to put the new one in, let me get rid of the old one out the way. Let me just walk you through this. This is what you get in the box. Here is the main item, a bit like a diver's glasses, I guess. Uh, and you've got all the holes here. If I put it against the shirt, you can probably see better in my hand. Loads of holes for ventilation, keep you cool, and also stop the glasses misting up. And what they recommend to make it that easy to install, I'm gonna use the uh, foam. Uh, I'll use yeah, this one first. All you do is fold it in half exactly like that. So this, that part would be the nose, got it? And with luck, I will just put that in there. Open it, it will open up by, let me try and do it so at the right angle so you can see easy. Okay, line it up like those two here. Pop it in, keep, let go. And now it's automatically sticking all the way around. Look at that. Wow, without me doing anything. Perfect job. Look at that, that's sticking with good Velcro. So now just go round it, make sure it's on. To install, should be dead easy. 
my girlfriend's reminding me, there's two clips here and there's two holes at the top here. A hole there. And if I line up that to that hole, one, you heard that, two, three, that should be it. That should all, oh, that. yep, that is locked into place. Double check it. Go all the way around. Make sure there's no clicking to be had. As you do it, make sure the Velcro is all attached. Dead easy to do. Brilliant. Wow. Look at that. So easy to fit on now. And these are nice. It stops all the light coming through. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mess around with it. I'm going to play with that. Let you know from one to ten, is it really worth the extra money? Does it really improve your gameplay uh, and comfort? And I will also do right now, whilst I've got your attention, as it's going to be a short video, I'm going to do a re installation and I'll also review the same time the covers for the hand grips. So this is what's inside the box, Farm Kiwi, uh, regarding the gloves, comfort, whatever. Let's have a look together. It all makes sense in a minute. I'm gonna lay it out there. And that, so there's two of them, because there's two things. You've also got two straps, and you've got this, which I have no idea what that is for at this moment of time, but there's a few of them. I'll leave that out. Nice little instruction page. Uh, all environment friendly. They use special plastics that are the health, you know, the healthy ones, good for the world and stuff like that. One and two, and it looks easy enough to install. And here, ah, oh. okay. So what I'm going to do in a few seconds, I just want to show you what's inside. And now I'm going to, oh, what's this? Only get one of them, whatever that is. What is it? Ah, I think I only get one yet, put that back in there. It, oh, you do get two. <laughs> oh, of course, they are protectors to go around here. So I'm now going to do the installation. I've actually put one on and I'm uh, going to take you through how to do it using this one. But this is the end result. OK, how to get there. Very easy. In fact, I'm very, very impressed. This is so well made in the first place. Uh, so all you've got to do, okay. you have a little label there that says right hand side, you pull it down. It seems like it's tough, but if you just put your finger underneath it slides. I'll just do that one more time. And you want to keep these, by the way, just in case. Right, there it is. On, firm. You don't actually see it because you're going to try to pull and put it off that way. Do not. It, you just put your thumb there and slide it down like that. Got it? Easy. The other thing I found, it's easier at this stage to take out the battery. You'll see why in a few seconds. Okay, like so. Take that out and this hand clip here, quite ingenious really how that is even in. You, all you gotta do is you push. I just did it a minute ago. Oh, okay, it, it just slides, look at that, very clever. Unfortunately, I cut myself, but nothing to do with doing this. That just slides in and out, so that comes off like so. That's the first part done. Next, this, which is very, very ingenious, I think. Um, okay, you make the hole like so. They're marked clearly, left and right. Obviously, you can see the big hole there for all the gadgets, all the controls. This goes in like so. Push it in. Be very careful, delicate. You don't want to damage anything at this stage. Okay, and it's going to look something like that initially. Now, push it all the way in using your hand carefully, sliding it up. So that is clear. That lifts up a little bit. And that now misses the control here. And this then... I just push it a bit more up. These just clip on. Very, very clever. One, two. 
Okay. Easy. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Firm grip. Now that's not going to go anywhere. This is ingenious. I forgot to mention this. But uh, here, it's built in. So you don't have mm -hmm. to take... You won't have to take the cover off every time you want to change the battery. It's built in. And let me show you this, which is even more ingenious. If I can get to it. Should have got to this before I put the case in, but never mind. Let me just show you this. Here it is. Look at that. This gadget. So number one, uh, to put the batteries in, and you have this gadget here to take out the batteries that makes it very easy. They're even generous enough because you're going to have to pull quite hard. They give you quite a few spare ones in case you break them. Easy to fit in. I'll just show you. You can see there's a loop there. And to replace them, that just goes in like so. Very easy. Okay, so now you put the battery. Make sure you put the battery the right way up. There's even an indicator there with a big plus sign. Push this down. Use your finger, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure that's down like so. Put that in like there. You want that obviously to be on the outer part, just the way I'm holding it in order to do the filming. That goes like that. That's already in, you can see. And now push that in and here we are, we're in. And that now, you pull that up and slide it. You've got to do it quite hard. And then the battery just, I'll actually do it. Look at that, <laughs> it came out. But it does work, so you don't have to mess around like I did the first time. So let me just put that back in again, like so. And it was this way in first, the plus sign, and then give it a poke in, and we are in. Done. Keep that up, because you're going to want that later on. And it doesn't matter how you do it, I just fold it like so and press in here, which is ingenious actually, so you don't have to go to the controller again. Press quite hard, right? Because you don't want the batteries coming out halfway along. This is how it comes already installed. This is quite ingenious now. What you do here is this gadget pulls out like so, put it in, tighten it, and you've still got the loop to put around here in case you want extra safety. But what's great about this, look at that. So you can hold it now. You don't have to hold it as tight as what you did before. You really don't. It's, it's fantastic. Now, the other thing that I actually prefer it like this, but they do supply this, which is great. If you want additional uh, comfort like that, put it in, lining it up and voila gives you, I actually prefer it without this, but very nice extra. The company also in the box supply, as I mentioned, they supply these extras and you get two of these, I guess, in case you ever break them, they're the adjusters for the uh, strap. And keep the things you've taken out as well. Keep those in some the box that this came with. They're the originals. What I'm gonna do now is mess around for the next few days using these new controllers. And I will report back to you as to, does it make a big difference? Is it worth the extra money? Uh, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, show you. The final thing is that I've got a white table. Is this, they come with two of these. Nice little touch. They just clip on like so. All the way around. Again, just to give you a little bit more protection. Make sure it's all the way around, all the do a perfect fit like so. They're not going to fall anywhere. So now you can, as promised, the final review of, I've already done a full review on the original uh, Kiwi uh, additional headset, if you like, see below for link. This time I was reviewing two things. The facial plate, for lack of a better word, the facial padding, the face mask, how much does it add? I would say I'm going to give this a great 8 out of a 10. Not essential, but you've gone this far. If you really enjoy your VR, it does really help. It keeps it a lot cooler. 
stops the light coming in much more comfortable. You give it a nice wipe uh, when you finish with it, if you need it. It's really good. I'm going to give it a, and all, uh, it seems like all Kiwi products come with 18 months guarantee, not a year, 18 months warranty. Same thing, I think, depends which country you're in. So definitely a solid A. And next product, just a very quick roundup. Look at that. Fantastic. Now you can not have to worry about letting that drop in these things, really. Uh, if it would have helped if I put it on the right hand in the first place. <laughs> ah, okay, there it is. Look at that. Great for you. You put this on around here, obviously, as an extra precaution. Fits like literally like a glove. That's what they would call it, glove protectors. Uh, brilliant. I love the way you don't have to get to the battery anymore. You just open it up from one of these sides. Voila. Brilliant. Brilliant design. You don't have to take it out. Make sure you pop it back in. Uh, what else can I say about this? I, I love it. I would say this makes a major difference, especially for me. In a hot country, I would go very humid. Uh, it makes a massive difference. And don't forget, it also includes these nice rubberized protectors around here. I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. I would say this is more important to get this than to get the facial, the facial thing here. But the, the main casing from Kiwi, fantastic. I'm giving that 9.5. The difference between that and the original, no, you can't even compare. This is phenomenal. Gets probably the highest rating on Amazon, as I've mentioned earlier. Followed by, this is my second essential, and the facial number three. I just received, but I haven't really done a thorough test, uh, but I'm going to put it in this video, the Kiwi uh, cable. Uh, as you can see here, these are the two connectors, USB-C, the latest, the blue one here, and this one obviously is at an angle, so it's designed for VR, especially the Oculus. So it goes in at a side, so you can keep it powered all the time, and more importantly, it's designed to go into the uh, PC or Mac so you can actually do a lot more things. You can extract your videos from recording. You can actually uh, play games from the computer into the VR set and so on. It also comes with a nice little piece of Velcro here uh, that will then strap on the side and then it stops the pressure, if you like, from pulling. But this is a very strong uh, but very lightweight cable. I've only used it so far for charging. It's a fast charging cable uh, and uh, also with data uh, connectivity. It is uh, five meters uh, long, comes with an 18 month guarantee, 30 day, no question. As all their products do come with that kind of guarantee, it's fantastic. Uh, what else to report on that? That's it, I'll just add it in. I would say it's non-essential, when you rate it against all the other Kiwi products. But uh, if you're gonna buy a cable, uh, this would be the one to get because it's much cheaper than most of the competition, especially the original Oculus ones. And some people, when they use it uh, connected to the computer, they have it connected to ceiling gadgets with weights and, and stuff like that so you can not fall over it. Uh, so great cable though, very good. Uh, one thing I will mention, if you've got a mobile phone, and obviously this works with every uh, latest gadget that takes USB-C. Uh, if you've got a phone with a case on, it may not fit, but that's true of all these kind of connectors when they're at an angle. Stay tuned uh, and subscribe for the channel. Anything tech, mainly Android phones, home automation, very basic things. Uh, and I'm also going to review some games. Uh, coming from the point of view of a novice, someone who's new to this. And unfortunately, I, like, I hate to admit it, not a teenager. Uh, so I'll be using it with my young Thai girlfriend and I'll invite some other friends in and see their first reactions. That's gonna be interesting. Press subscribe, like, and if you wanna order any of their products, I've got the link below. Thank you.